Keep left in. Oh crap, no. Oh, I pressed it the wrong way. That was a big fish. Hey guys and welcome to a new video uh, with a, an exciting new game that's recently come out a few days ago. Um, I actually bought it on the day release and I have done a, a few videos already on it which I haven't put on YouTube because it just kept fucking about. Uh, I did one that was like over an hour long and I thought I'd do a big video put it on YouTube and for some reason it was way too long and it wouldn't even let me render. It was going to take fucking hours. So I've kind of slid it off, and it was a bit shit anyway. I didn't catch much, uh, you know, fish, as it's a fishing game. Um, so I thought I'd do a, a, like a, a quick video now, and hopefully I can show you some uh, bits and bobs that I didn't know previously when I did uh, some videos. Um, I thought I'd slap my face on here just to give my videos a bit of a, a new look. And yeah, let's just jump straight into it. So uh, this game is called Euro Fishing by Dovetail. Um, I think it was on beta, then they stopped it for a bit until obviously release, and then they brought it out. And I think it's about fifteen pound ninety nine now. Um, it was nineteen. It might have dropped even more. I don't know. Um, uh, that's about it. If everybody, if anybody doesn't, you know, personally know me, then I am a big angler, uh, cat fisherman. So I really love me fishing. Tried loads of fishing games in the past, but they're all shit. Basically, like bass fishing and all that crap, and because we're being a carp fisherman, and this game uh, majority is carp fishing, then it's right up my street. Um, excuse my phone going off in the background. So this is what you'll end up coming to when you first come on the game. Um, you will have to register. Well, it's quickly, and you know, um, make your character, pick your person. It'd be good if you, if you got more. You know, change your clothes and all that. Uh, it just comes with the guy. It might have might bring some new updates. Like I said, it is a a new release, so there will be some updates in the future. So as you can see, I've got my level four, me uh, points, and me rank. So let's get into the fishing, and I'll show you hopefully some fish. I'm sat here. I didn't even realise you got a best space. Fucking idiot. Right, this is your hood. This is obviously your menu at the start of the game. Loving the music in the background, just thinking, should I turn it down a bit? I think it's alright. Um, not going to get into any details really. You know, if you're new and you want to learn the game, go on Academy. I'll show you some different tips of basics fish on, stalking, baiting, multiple rods. Um, all the top here, you've got your tackle box. That's obviously the shit that you've got. Uh, go to tackle shop, that's the shit that you buy, and it'll go to your tackle box. Your settings to change your video, you know, it's normal shite. Um, you can either go on home or game modes, because you've got academy, single player, multiplayer. If I go home, I've got academy. Oh, live tournament and go fishing. Oh, there's a couple of different things. Anyway, go on multiplayer. We've come to see the multiplayer. Now, there is a bit of a bug at the moment, and I've realised how to get around it. Um, it might have recently gone, I'm not too sure. Um, but when you actually go on someone else's server, you can't see where fish are jumping, or any swirls or anything, you, you know, to tell you where the fish are at. And for some reason, I was on people's servers for fucking ages, and it was taking me forever to catch a fish. And I realised that I'm not seeing any fish movement, um, and then someone told me that if you become your own host on a server then you see that um, bear with me a second my door is going right I'm back um, as I was saying before um, we're gonna jump into a host we're gonna host one uh, other people will be able to join my server but at least I'll be able to see all the the fish movements and so on so Let's go to match settings. Did on day simulation speed? Yes. Wind off. Can't be asked for shit like that. 
checklist, guys. Default tackle box, I want my own. Thank you. Um, session duration. Let's just do half an hour just so I've got time. Select lake. Oh, now I picked. See, I, I had really good luck on this lake the other day. La Rena. La Rena. La Rena. I don't know what Alright, let's give this one a crack. So, first off, uh, it'll present you with the map. Um, these are teleportation marks, so you can go wherever you want on the map. And then these ones here are actually the pegs. You can't choose a peg, obviously, unless you're on the map. So, let's... Where did I go last time? Let's pick this side. Um, my peg that I chose, actually, was over here. As you can see, you come on as a third person. You can wander about... I think this is the peg that I chose last time. And as soon as you're on a peg, you press E. Now this basically just tells everyone that you've picked this peg and no fucker else can get on it. And yeah, it's one of your rods. See, as you can see, there's three bank sticks. So you can have three rods eventually, but as you upgrade and rank up, that's when you can buy more gear. Um, I'm not sure why I've got two rods. People kept asking me when I first got it, it was like, how did you get two rods when I've only got one? Um, and I'm not too sure how. But anyway, make sure you guys right at the end of the peg. For some reason, it's just easier to pick up your rods that way. Hold down the right mouse button. Well, first off, and I'm going to have to let go and it's going to drop it in the water. But press R just to bring it back. Press I for your inventory, and then this is where you can choose what gear you want. Um, I'll have my quarter hooks with some dumbbells. Press I again, and that's just obviously so you can. As oh, someone else is on here now, so it's an easy way to chat. Just press Enter. Just, uh, you can turn your chat off by pressing Z or Z. Let's just turn it off for now, and I want to try and get on that corner over there. So you keep your finger on the right mouse button, move your mouse back. <laughs> You can do it very quickly, it's going to fuck up, I know it is. And then you just fling it forward when letting go at the right time. Ooh. Uh, it was a bit shit, but that'll do. And then you press space to put your rod back on. Your bite alarm. Now, I've got a funny feeling that's just going to go off. As you can see, all these little marks in the water. Uh, I've just heard a few and I've just seen some. That's basically showing you that a fish are moving. Oh, there we go. Press tab. Pick your rod up. And keep your finger on the mouse. And we're probably going to lose it. Now, you got to watch this bar on the left-hand side. If it goes too much, your line's going to snap. <coughs> Excuse me. Two lefts. And it'll just come off. So, you need to set your drag with the wheel on your mouse. Shit. <coughs> So you just you just gotta try and play with the fish. I'm not even watching the screen, I'm just watching that drag. And then when it comes out of the water, it's probably gonna be a little, yeah it is. Press E to get your landing out. And then you've got to try and pick it up. The animation's a bit shit, and to be honest with you, that's probably the biggest carp I've actually caught so far. A little common. £6.5. Ounce. Common carp, yep. And as you see, this is how you rank up and that as well. So, I, I think I've shown you most of the uh, the buttons. We just press uh, spacebar to release the fish. And hopefully I can get two rods in without the other one going. It's quite hard when you've got two rods in on this, like, for some reason they just both start ripping off. Um, see all the little marks showing you where the fish are. So let's get this back on that corner. Another casting way I like to do it, just to try and get it fat, is to whip it like fly fishing. Like that, wow, that went way too high. It's not even going to go far. <laughs> You can reel it back in by clicking the left mouse button, I don't think I mentioned that earlier. Uh, even when you're playing a fish, you just keep your finger on that or let go, keep it on, let go, just depending on how you want to play the fish. Um, but I just press R to reset, to 
to bring it back if you ever screw up. Oh, I've done it again. Can I press R now? No. Right, this next one's going to be a beast. Okay, as a fish just jumps me right. Oh, that was another thing. As you can see, when it when it lands in the water, if it's an orange, I don't know what the picture is anyway. I think it's just a sand. I think it, it's sand. Then there's gravel and then there's weed. And if you go on your inventory, when you get your uh, tackle, it actually tells you what what it's best for. As you can see up here for this one, it says bed type gravel. So I really, want to be in a gravel patch, even though I was on a sand patch before. So let's just see what we can get, and then we'll just leave it there. Let's just do a normal. You know what, I'm not even going to try and get it any further, I'm just going to leave it there. Hopefully I can get my other rod out really quick. So if I press tab, click my second rod, press I. This time, same hooks, but I'm going to do some artificial sweet corn. And I'm going to cast it right. Oh, so I'm going to go over there to them lily pads. The rod cut off, oh, the it's going off. Shit, tab, quick, get a rod, get a rod, get a rod. Keep left in, oh. Right, no, oh, I pressed it the wrong way. That was a big fish. Ah, you bastards. I bet this is what I mean. It's like, oh crap, another one's on. Nice, yeah, this is going to be a little one again. I'm pissed off at that one. It was quite a big fish. If you keep your finger on it, then you're going to reel in, but if you just keep playing it... Right, I need more drag, otherwise it's going to come off. Press E if you land in that, and there we go, it's in there. Oh my god. It's a little fucking roach. Two pound three ounce roach. So I don't even have to look at the names, I know what they're called. Come on, I the best. Nah, right, let's see if we can get this one over there first and then get the second one in. Let's just make sure our bait is still on there. Let's get it right on that corner. Oh my god. As you can tell, I've not played it for a couple of days. I can get very frustrated. That's better. Well, slight, slightly. Right, get the one out quick. At least there's all my tackles still on. Let's get it over here. Get it out. No, no, no. Maybe the rod's going to go whilst I'm casting this one in. You can actually put your clip on as well. So that's a bit better. Fuck. Got a bit. Oh shit, my rod's going. Press tab. Quick, quick, quick. My other rod's going. Both my rods are going. Oh, that snap. I don't give a shit about that one. Quick, quick, quick. I'm gonna lose it. Uh oh, it's gonna snap. It's gotta be a bit better. Come on. Can't get any better than this for a first look video, anyway. At least I got a few fish. Might be little bitty ones, but. Let's play him. Off. Is that bigger? Yeah! See, now, the fish I can actually catch is a lot bigger than that, but for this game, £9.6, 
It's my biggest fish up to now. I've got a mirror cat. Beast. Now, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos of this and putting it on, so make sure you check them out. This, I might do a series, depending on if you want me to do it or not. So let me know in the comments below. Uh, make sure you like the video if you do like it. And I'm going to call this video a finale, really, you know, for the first look. Uh, it's not that long, hopefully. I'll cut a few bits and bobs off. But at least I could be able to edit this one and slide it on anyway, and not like the other one I did, which was shy. Uh, but I hope that's kind of give you an insight of the game. Uh, if there's anything else that I've left out, I'm sure that I'll put it into another video. But I think that's about it. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for coming along and watching, and don't forget to check out the next episode. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the game. I believe, uh, you know, if you're a fisherman, or even if you're not, it's... it's, it's very fun especially when you go multiplayer and play with other people so and uh yeah so have fun and i'll see you on my next video